Hi everyone. All right. So today I'm going to show you the exact study routine that I used to learn cloud computing and uh, what I use to kind of learn anything really. I consider myself kind of a busy person. I try to, you know, hit the gym, be social, uh, but I still find time to learn new things, right? I've taught myself Bash. I've taught myself Python, .NET, so many different Azure services with this system that I use. And back, I originally kind of set it up back in like 2017 when I was first learning cloud. And I spent like six months studying for the AWS Certified Developer Associate certification. And I learned that stuff really in depth. I spent six months, almost two hours every single day. And that unlocked a lot of opportunities for me. I think it's very unheard of now for someone to spend that much time with one cloud certification. Like if you go on LinkedIn, people are passing these things like week after week after week. I would encourage you to not care about that and just, you know, strive to be someone who wants depth in the stuff that they're learning. And this routine really helped me for that. And I'm going to show you to you. With all that being said, hi, I'm GPS. I do cloud things at Microsoft here on YouTube. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. And welcome to a new video. All right. So you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a calendar. Okay. You're going to need a to-do app or a to-do list, like a physical list, whatever works for you. The calendar can be physical too, if that's what you want. You're going to need somewhere to write down notes. Handwritten notes are fine or just uh, maybe an app. I personally, I personally use Notion, but uh, whatever works. And then somewhere to synthesize your notes. So whether that be like a blog or that could be like a YouTube video or I don't know, something like that. Okay. Those are the things you're going to need. Additionally, if you are someone who struggles with getting started with things, I really like the Pomodoro technique and you're going to need a timer. You can just use your phone for that or uh, you can use an actual physical timer. I know they sell, sell those things too. Um, if you have a watch, you can use your watch. Um, yeah, whatever works for you, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do is every day, at the beginning of your day, you're gonna sit down and you're gonna spend 10 minutes, 10 minutes scheduling this stuff out. So you're gonna hop into your calendar and I need you to schedule in two study sessions. So for there, uh, for this example, I have one from seven in the morning. So this is for tomorrow from seven to eight. And then from 7 p.m. to, it says until 8 p.m., but honestly, since I have nothing left after that time, and uh, I usually go to bed around 10 to 11, I can pretty much use anything after 7 if I want to spend one hour, two hours, three hours, right? But at the bare minimum, I would like you to spend uh, two hours. Now, there's this book by Cal Newport called Deep Work that says that you really only need 90 minutes of deep work every day to really learn something, I highly recommend you read that book, but it's also something that's really worked well for me. As long as I spend two hours of deep focused work on whatever topic it is that I'm trying to tackle, it pretty much works well for me. So that's why I recommend it. Now, I also recommend dividing these sessions into two different ones instead of one longer one for two reasons. One, it makes it easier to schedule. We all have lives where we have to do stuff outside of studying, right? You may have kids, you may be at school, you may be working a nine to five, you may be working a full-time job that has like crazy hours. I know for me, there's a lot, I have a lot going on. So scheduling them in out two hour session, two sessions of one hour at the bare minimum, two hours total works great for me. Additionally, there is this talk by Barbara Oakley called Learning How to Learn. And it is fantastic. I will link it in the description. This is exactly the reason why I saw this TED talk like years ago, and this is the exact reason why I came up with this study routine. And it speaks about the different modes that your brain has. So you have diffuse mode and then you have focus mode. So when you're in focus mode, you're actively thinking about a topic, actively working through material. And then diffuse mode is when it's sort of in the back of your mind. But when, you're, when your brain is in diffuse mode, it's kind of con creating those connections uh, and you're giving it space to kind of create those connections of the stuff that you've learned. So when you come back, to focus mode, it's like you've, you've learned stuff kind of throughout the day. But you need to do it consistently for that to work. It's not like you just think about something for like five minutes and then suddenly you know a lot about it uh, a couple of hours. So this is why this routine of breaking it up into two sessions like this works great for me. And which is why I usually recommend it. Okay. Anyway, so you schedule out your sessions there. What you're going to do next is you're going to get your material. I love books. Text material is just the best way for me to learn, but whatever works for you. And you're going to try to kind of like, you know, 
map out what you can get done in that first one hour session. We're just going to focus on that first one hour session. Okay. So luckily this book, Linux basic for hackers is the book I recommend everyone who wants to get a foundation in Linux go through. So then for example, let's say we're, we're today, I want to learn chapter two text manipulation. And I look here at the contents and I see viewing files, finding, and I see like, it's about, a, it's about, you know, a couple, what, what, we're looking at 10 pages. And me personally, I know that I could get through this in an hour. So I'm going to say, you know what, I'm going to cover session one. I'm just going to cover the chapter, chapter two, and I'm going to write it in my to-do list here. Perfect. Now, if I think I can only get through like viewing files, filtering text with grep and using set to find and replace completely fine. I'm just going to, uh, select those, put them in my to-do list and say, I'm going to cover these chapters for, or these topics for my session one. If you feel like you can cover more in that first hour, awesome, less, it's really up to you. And this is, this is just for yourself. You're not racing anyone. This is again, just for you. Okay. Now. I said focus just on outlining what you can do for session one, because there are different purposes for each one of these. Okay. As you are working through your session one, you're going to be taking notes. These aren't the exact notes that I took when covering this chapter. I wish I had them. I don't, I don't know what happened. Maybe I'll find them and I'll share them. But if I don't, the, the, the purpose of showing you these notes, I was actually going through a different book called, uh, how Linux works and when I go through the, that, that first session, it's all about deep focus, going through the material, getting hands on, doing any exercises. And my note taking is not supposed to get in the way. It's more so anything that I want to further dive into or further synthesize for my session two, I write it down here. These are kind of like bullet points, not complete sentences, not complete ideas, just stuff in the material that I want to highlight. And the note taking is not, does not need to get in the way. A lot of people focus on like, oh, I just read the sentence. Then I need to make an exact note. How do I make it super pretty? Like that gets in a way you only have 60 minutes of deep work time for this material. Do as much deep work as you can for those 60 minutes. All right, great. So then your session one is done. You spend your hour learning the material, going through everything. If you couldn't go through everything, that's fine. Just copy uh, what you couldn't go through and put it in your to-do list for the next day. And then the next day, you know what you need to cover, all right? Completely fine. So now you move into your second session, right? So I'm in like, it's 7 PM. It's time for my next session. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my notes and I'm going to synthesize them, which means I'm going to make them into something that makes sense and that I could share or I could later reference. So for example, when I was going through the actually, let me see if I have the, I'm going to click on Linux. This is my blog. These are my synthesized notes from going through the Linux basic for hackers book. Let me see. Okay. Here an intro to text manipulation in Linux. This, these are notes that I created from my scratch pad notes or from my throwaway notes. And you can see I created a blog post, right? And it says here, almost everything is a text file in Linux and you can read through it and you'll, it's a blog post that, you know, it's legible. And that's what synthesizing means. It means you grab your knowledge that you gained from going through the material, you grab the notes that you created and together you create something that other people can gain insight from, or that you can share, or, or you can just stash it away. You don't have to share it, but it's something that you can later reference that, um, you know, it's in like human language, not your, your chicken scratches or not your scratch pad notes. Okay. Then you're going to spend that second session just working on creating this. It doesn't have to be super long. Like you can see, I have a lot of screenshots in here. Um, I have a, not too many words, but it, Hey, it outlines what I learned that morning. Okay. And ideally go for something that you can create in an hour. If you end up spending like an hour and a half or whatever on this part, that's fine because you are still reinforcing the stuff that you learned in your earlier session. And I also find that breaking it up this way is less fatigue. And, and I don't know, I just really love working in like session one, session two, focus mode throughout the day, your brain is in diffuse mode and you're back into focus mode, but you're not doing the same that you were doing earlier. You're building and reinforcing on that by creating these type of synthesized notes. So this is what works great for me. Once I'm done with material, I'll spend some time building something or uh, maybe creating like a longer blog post or a longer video on it. 
But really, when it comes to just working through the material and really learning, this is the routine that I use. I think for this specific example, Linux Basic for Hackers, I ended up taking the Linux Essentials certification at the end. And I think it took me like a month to get through all the material. Uh, but for other things, I've gone through like Python books, I've gone through um, .NET books, I've gone through like a bunch of Azure tutorials and stuff like that. Uh, I remember I did this also for when I was learning Docker, go through the material, create notes, and then at the end of like usually it takes me, it depends on what it is, a week, two weeks, and then I'll go and I'll build something, put a project up on GitHub or whatever. But the day-to-day -day stuff, the like, you know, actually learning, this is how I do it. So let me know if you like the system. I'll link a bunch of resources in the description that could help you further understand learning how to learn, which I think is so important. Uh, and if you give it a try, let me know how it works for you. Uh, and that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.